Okay. Put in me again. Good. Good evening again, you guys. You guys here? Good evening, guest now. I can hear you good. Good evening. Okay. That's good, that's good. You guys comfortable with that? Mm -hmm. I'm sure you're all pretty comfortable in your house. Hello, everyone here also. Uh, anyway, let's be uh, Buddhism idea. And also, as we are religious person, to always important to keep the refuge with our mind day or night. If that good things happen, the kindness for the ref refuge, even the bad things happen, you can also say it's kindness for refuge. The harm, the refuge means bad things happen. It's not like that. Let's see. <clears throat> Study Guide to the Buddha Sadhuva, Chapter 6, remember? And they say if someone has, you no, know, what's that? Order to by kill person or something. Then they decide, okay, we just going to cut the your left or right hand. Then you can free. Then the person accept. Oh, that be better. No, <coughs> better than nothing. Better, you know, if you lose your hand, or you save your life. According to Buddhism, this will also be. Kindness for refuge. How can I come? If it doesn't happen that, they will kill you. You lose your life. Because we have, <clears throat> you know, physically, mentally, a lot of issues, problems in this time. It's also, according to Buddhism, we say, we purify our negative karma. You guys can think, oh, you know, he put up my own negative karma for <laughs> two years, he's sick. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. I create bad karma. Sometimes people ask me, you know, how you got a lot sick like that? You didn't do bad things. Say, yeah, I don't remember I did bad things this life, but it shows I did bad things my previous, previous life. This is not necessary, necessary to. With the result, bad things happen this life, you do something bad this life. Okay, therefore, <clears throat> example, when we have some people have different disease, the disease that doesn't show up on immediately, takes time hiding, slowly, slowly going, then one small condition, they got sick. Exactly like that. Therefore, when we are sick, we say this is a great opportunity to purify all my negative karmas. Take it that way. The secondly, you can also say, "Oh, I wish nobody has like this kind of experience." I think this is a remember. remember I'll talk about the last week the the masters. When you have physical or mentally, especially physically sick. 
this is a, you know one of the best way you have renunciation for the, the samsara if you don't have experience then sometimes if you have not much feeling if you go through that you say oh yeah I'm, oh yeah i have that therefore think about that any kind physically mentally issues for us that i hope nobody has like this kind of experience whatever i'm going through it's also behalf for all them and you can you know worst condition to some you know positive way or positive way okay like gen you know um, <clears throat> basic in a refuge you know when they know all the teachers like senior teachers they always they you know in Nam or Buddha or Dharma, they always like remember like that way. They very strong faith, Buddha Dharma Sangha. They always keep the refuge very strongly, and we are also to follow like that way. As very really easy way, you know, the Buddha is the the real refuge, or you know, who found the refuge, like doctor, doctor found the order of disease. Right? Medicine, um, Dharma is like medicine. When we have the medicine, we all cure the disease. <clears throat> the Sangha is there, like a nurse. The nurse can help for us, you know, recover. Therefore, in order to recover our physical disease, we need a doctor, nurse, and medicine. Therefore, we are all sick, the mental, stressful, exciting, right? Always. In order to recover from that, we need to, what the cost, how we got that, you know, what to do, how to get out that. Those come from Buddha Dharma Sangha. Like that, okay? Therefore, and uh, not talking too much. Now we're going to do the meditation. This is like basic understand, you know. Then, you know, our mind is like a really monkey man, monkey. I think the animal is monkey, the one of the very notice animal. The notice, no stop, no stay, just always moving. What, monkey or parrot? And it also always the rah, 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 they said The monkey is always doing something, jumping, you know. Therefore, our minds like that, special our delusion minds. Oh, Lord, like 24 hours. 24 hours always, you know, our mind focus more. No, like delusion minds, the positive minds, like behind, like behind, like that. Therefore, we need to try to, you know, cultivate our positive minds. If that is one of the method is meditation for the Kama body, right? Kama body, what call what other other name? Shine. Concentration. Concentration. Huh? Meditative sterilization. Yeah, meditation. So this is uh, mentioned by Lam Tsongkhapa in his uh, Text and honest uh, line of experience. Right. I already discussed. I already told to them. That they are That they are That text it uh, it mentions about the um, entity or nature of the mind, karma binding, and uh, the benefits of karma binding. And the something that. Similar one, you double the chip, but it is a member. 
the concentration is like a like a king that can control the mind. It's just like if the king is very powerful from then he can you know control his people easily, right? So just like that, uh, the concentration is like a uh, like a king, you know, that can control all kinds of minds. Right now we're not able to control our mind, right? Right now, even if we try to sit down and do some meditation, to not sit there for a long time, right? Then immediately, you know, within a few seconds, we'll go somewhere else. Right now, also, it's a very stable mind. It's like very stable, like a, <clears throat> like a king of mountain. Like so it's, it's like a huge mountain. The huge mountain will not be easily moved. Even if there's other things like wind or rain or whatever comes, you know, it will not move easily. Right now, if you place it on an object, it's like very stable, like a mountain. If you send it, you know, to the object, then you can you can engage in any kind of object, any kind of virtuous objects. So like if we try to turn our mind you know, towards uh, um, developing loving kindness or compassion, or even like taking refuge, it doesn't stay there. It goes somewhere else, somewhere else. You know, always thinking about different things. It doesn't want to sit in one place. We check that. Experiment it. Not just believe what Lama Tsongkhapa said, but experiment it also. See if you can send your mind towards the virtuous object or not. So let's do that on loving kindness and compassion. So first, you have to understand what is loving kindness and what is compassion, right? Right now, we don't know the word for loving kindness. Right now, we don't know the word for loving kindness. Right now, we don't know the word for loving kindness. Right now, we don't know the word for loving kindness. Loving kindness you know, is a kind of mind you know, that wishes others right, you know, to be happy and have a you know, cause of happiness. And I myself will this on others. Thinking, um, thinking like that, that mind is called loving kindness. Right. And uh, compassion you know, is thinking you know, just like myself, all other sentient beings you know, don't want to experience any sufferings. So therefore, may they be free from the suffering. Uh, how wonderful it would be if they are free from suffering. And I myself you know, will free them from all the sufferings. And so that, that kind of thought is called compassion. So you try to keep your mind as long as possible. And we can also think that, you know, uh, for that to happen, uh, <clears throat> the, may all the, the, the Gurus and Buddhas uh, bless me, bless me uh, to be able to, able to have that. Yeah. Oh, you understood uh, the loving kindness and compassion, right? Uh, you think about the loving kindness, don't think about compassion. Don't allow to, not allow to think about compassion. Okay? Just concentrate on the loving kindness. Thinking how uh, <clears throat> may all sentient beings be free from suffering, I mean, may all sentient beings have happiness. Uh, how wonderful it would be if they all have happiness. And my, I myself make them have happiness. Okay. I have to keep your mind on that part. 
Kamachina to come to the Tibala Susu Sam Cassetti, Flora Payendo, and the Susu Mubak Tama Cassetti Shondo, the Tesamta. You will meditate for uh, about a minute on that, and then within the minute, see how much you can keep your mind on that thought, and, and see if your mind goes out of that thought and goes to somewhere else. Okay, okay. all ready? Okay. Ah, oh, many times you destroy your mind. No? Have you heard the sound for the car? Have you heard the, the equitation? Can you hear Tamshu Mala doing that? <laughs> <laughs> have, you, have you recognized this Tamshu Mala? And then that's gone. <laughs> <laughs> and it wasn't really focused. Huh? You heard it? I heard it, but I wasn't really focused on it. It was just part of the. Okay. Well, is it AC or is it heat? Heat or heat? It's a heat, right? Oh, it's like getting cold. It's like that. I'm not over there. Okay. Is it AC? No, it's heat. Yeah, something that push back to open. Okay, how how Jada and then also any Tana giving my you told me that lot would do. So like right now, if we send it, it's not able to engage in the virtuous object. Right? It doesn't sit on the virtuous object that we're supposed to think about. Right? And Chamba government Niji me pali shau ne Niji Niji me personal matter ne tel pali do 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 do. That was the trick, right? So you say you're told not to meditate, not to think about compassion, and then when you when you're told not to think, then you start to think, right? Use this to make noise. Okay, that's correct. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I just tell the neighbor, tell you just so so some dollar, but they don't do it. And then I do same thing, give me about ten more days to marries, and then some day or she needs to drop to a yena. Right now, our mind is not able to focus on virtuous objects, that's a virtuous thought or virtuous object. Uh, but if you develop a uh, lot uh, kind of concentration or karma binding, then you know you can send it anywhere you want. And on any virtuous object, it will be able to sit on that. Yeah, how could someone go to send funds? Oh, yeah, don't. Right now, we <clears throat> concentrate, right? Focus on and on that virtuous object, whatever we're trying to meditate on. But then at the same time, if we hear in the background, if you hear some sound, as soon as you hear the car sound of cars, oh, that's a car moving. Or if there's uh, somebody 
and using the Mala method, if you have heard that, and, and that means your mind is already not there. Okay. Yes. Then there are some that you do not think what they might say, and the least she's on the same she's over the work, and you lead on some little letter one. And then not only that, but then you know, you'll have the, the plan C, or the physical and mental plan C, uh, which is like, which makes the body and mind serviceable, which means like, it can function very easily. Uh, you will you will be able to do whatever you need to do. You will have no pain or you know difficulties in doing that. Cheza ani ta nanjo ba ngai anyam ni ta na ji cheva kya to ta na ji che sho so mai bar. So Allah Subhanahu wa said, "I, the yogi, did in that way, and the those of you who wish to achieve liberation, follow in the same way." Yeah. Ta na do kada ta shi na gongo ta mai ta na do gongo ena. Like before, we going to do the, the combining meditation. Okay. So now there's like this, like the nine stages of the mind, right? Uh, so it's like from first grade all the way up to like ninth grade. So now there's like this, like the nine stages of the mind, right? Uh, so it's like from first grade all the way up to like ninth grade. So now there's like this, like the First one is called uh, placing the mind. Right? So placing the mind. Uh, if you place the mind on on, on that object, out uh, uh, being uh, distracted from it. And then the placing or placing with the with the with the continuity. So you know, so you continue you know, to. Based on that object. <laughs> Uh, and that the placement of the mind is um, it's just like you know for, for through the power of uh, study or listening you know, to the guru the guru uh, or teacher explains okay this is what you have to do this is what you have to do and then you you get that and then you place your mind on that so that's all you need maybe you will not be able to place your mind on that for a long time at that time but you get the idea where you are supposed to place what what you are supposed to do you get the idea so that's through the power of uh, hearing or listening from the guru. Then uh, after that, uh, then you you know uh, you have found you know, the object that you are supposed to place your mind on, and then you found it. Now you try to place it, and then you continue to place on it as the second stage of the mind. So that you know, comes from the power of thinking. Before it's listening, and then now it comes from the thinking. So you think about the object, and so this comes uh, through the power of thinking. And so the, so the difference between the first stage and the second stage is first stage you have recognized the object, right? But then you are not able to place on it for a long time, and then in the second stage you are able to place you you continue place your mind on that, so therefore you are able to a little bit maybe for a little bit longer maybe you know a minute or two longer. Right now we are not even in the first or second stage of mind. The third state of the mind is called the patchy, a patch like uh, placement. So you, uh, you, you place your mind on the object and you continue to do that, but then you lose the object. You lose the object, uh, and then you, know, you, 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 you don't go from starting again, you just bring it back quickly now, on the object. So it's like patching. 
ただ、あの、ちゃんばちゃんばてけたみばてすんとよ。すんにすんにげはこのいえまちわじすんとよた。だ and so you remember, right? So you remember that um, object, you are mindful about it, and you are not you know, um, uh, distracted by uh, gross excitement. Mindfulness becomes uh, stronger. Mindfulness so you know you 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 you're going away your mind is going away from the object and you remember that so you remember that and immediately you bring it back so that and your mind you so you're being more mindful now and you so that you know increases the, uh, your mindfulness so your mindfulness becomes more powerful at this time okay so these two, the excitement and uh, laxity, uh, are the biggest uh, obstacles you know, in uh, during the meditation concentration, right? And the go back the same excitement, you know, is a uh, mind that's not able to sit in one place and. So also we call it distraction. And so the excitement, you know, is uh, is related, is affiliated, you know, with attachment, uh, but the distraction is not necessarily affiliated with attachment. And then laxity, you know, is uh, uh, <clears throat> it comes you know, later after you are, you have been able to focus your mind on the object. So the object, you know, is clear, um, you know, it's kind of clear, but then you are not able to hold it tight, and then you it's like falling, you know, kind of falling asleep, becoming lazy and falling asleep. Right? So your your concentration on the object is kind of clear, but then it's not very strong. That that and that's the that's the uh, laxity. We think that you know when you are meditating that you fall asleep, right? You 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 tend to fall asleep when you try to listen to the teachings or trying to you know, uh, do practice with fall asleep. That's laxity. No, that's not laxity. Laxity comes after you have you've been able to focus or concentrate on the object. Okay. And so the, then the, it's a, so during the third stage of the mind, that's when it really starts you know, to have the uh, laxity. So in the picture, if you remember, and there's like a, and a white uh, like patch on the elephant's head, that symbolizes um, the laxity. So you can see that only on the third stage. You know. In a Tembegi, any so, but you know the uh, the mindfulness is becoming strong, right? And so it's not uh, letting the mind to be distracted. So that's that way it is uh, 
um, is avoiding is avoiding the growth uh, excitement. <laughs> so you see that this, the head becomes a little bit wide. The elephant, which symbolizes the mind, right? Head becomes a little wide, and then uh, uh, the mouth, the practitioner, is uh, able to uh, rope around his neck. So that means that now you're becoming a little bit um, uh, better or stronger in your practice. Okay. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do that meditation, okay? Okay. What? I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell you if you keep changing the object, today you do this, tomorrow you say, oh, maybe this is done, that would be better than you change the different one. Keep on changing like that, and you will never achieve karma by me. Sanji <coughs> And so then, <clears throat> so as a Buddhist, you know, we are recommended or advised me to um, focus you know, on the statue. And so the statue, like you have seen uh, 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 before, then <clears throat> you imagine that statue and imagine it's like kind of weight, weighted uh, or heavy so that it can be more stable in your, in your mind. Yeah. You're not uh, examining or analyzing about the object or how, 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 how many eyes are there, or, you know, what does the, the nose look like or the mouth look like, like know, what, what color is that. They're not checking that. You, know, you just think in a, a whole body in general and just, just focus on that. So, but if you if you focus on that, then it will become you know, clearer and clearer, mm -hmm. and then later you don't have to like analyze the or this that is there, or like you don't have thing like that. You know, see the whole thing very clearly. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to meditation. Maybe a couple minutes. Okay. <clears throat>
okay are you guys sleeping or lexity or excitement or lex what's that lexity excitement and lexity which are most strong about you really what happened you you finish but that thing you start daydreaming i don't know <laughs> They did they did the dead him jail chicken go back go back in a way. They did mean it's like excitement. She was at the Takana Jim. She was at the Mubati Chi Shar Devachi Seo Sharam Machi Tambo Sharam Machi Man so the trend over the door. But after she wants to move it. Like you know when you're about to fall asleep, you when you're you know you you that experience when you're about to fall asleep. You can you you are thinking about it, but then you're about to say so it's not very clear. Whatever you are thinking or doing, it's not very clear, right? When you're reading a book and you're about to fall asleep, and at that time the, the the you you see the book, but it's the letters are not very clear that you like that. So that's what happens, you know, when you have the laxity, is you are able to focus on the object, the, whatever object that you're concentrating on, you can see that, but it's not very clear and it's not very strong in a head. So therefore then you lose it, you know. That's called laxity. Okay. Now we have to like meditation. We need to go on to the Nibad Hako or Telever Karata Nibad Legdusam. Kushama Chavachi. So it's not the false, you know, those, uh, the, um, the false that come up, you know, so you have to recognize those false. What are the false, like the, whatever, what, what is it? Is it an exit or is it the excitement? You know, you have to understand those false and then contract with it. And Jing Ado Semnish Sumba. So during this third the mental <coughs> the stage of the mind, you you're able to you know um, uh, uh, have a concentration better because your mindfulness is stronger, and so you don't get um, that much excitement, uh, and then then actually the lex laxity will come after that. And then go back about being with money. The gross excitement you know, will not come. Eh? Well, it's that, it's that, and then the Shiva come to the country and the Tempe. That Tempe talk to Pa Kenya. And the young Jenny Jish, or yet the Shurji, the young Majija, Sam Rajiji, Sipa, Dachamochi, Yaya, not the Tekaro, Didia, Simba. Then the fourth stage of the mind is called a uh, good fixation here, but you know, it's, uh, um, <clears throat> it's like close placement. So you, you can um, um, uh, focus or hold object more closely, um, and uh, your 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 mind becomes more broader, broader, and you're able to hold it, and you don't get distraction easily. On the third day, Galata, Lambo chede a koto garu mago cha. Ani tige to garu jawa cha. Ani tande shiwa de te de kau cha ni gore ta. Shiwa chamo to shiwa mai ocha ni gore. And then by that time, then you can see that you know the, in the picture the elephant becomes more white, and then the monkey also, you know, some part of monkey becomes white too. Um, and so you know you don't uh, show up your mind. What about beyond your mind? And then by then, you know, then you will not get uh, the laxity, you know, the the, the gross laxity. Yeah, that is temper temper top door, that temper top shoe shoe, that elephant temper, young temper shoe shoe, that check over mind. So that all happens you know, through the power of mindfulness. Mindfulness, power, that's, the, that's through the power of mindfulness you get that. And then after that, you don't, you don't really need the, the power of uh, mindfulness. Okay, I'm going to meditate again, okay? 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 So the close placement is where your mind is closely on the object, closed on the object. So nothing else, you don't think of anything else. You don't fall asleep, you don't get excited, just focus on the object. 
ane bimi pasal lewa kange dia omar kare trembe top tau lewa kita trembe suci macam macam. When you have achieved that, the close placement, then you have uh, <clears throat> no problem for getting the object because you have already completed the power of mindfulness. You are able to remember the object very clearly, and so there's no risk of forgetting the object. Okay, Ayanda. Okay, one more. Okay, not not left here. Okay. How then? Getting better? That the whole thing, when you go to the data, same as Chini, some shit to your part of that. You know, so those who are doing meditation really uh, seriously, then, you know, you have to move up like that, you know, from first. At the time, any other time, any when a semi, a shiwachi, no one will become a ya. Ani tak kari ko na tobra siya pa ato na anje tingin na yin tingin sam ni tingin na lang gawa siya pa tingin na lang gawa siya pa then we log yun and then after that is the controlled controlled placement or setting and at that time your your mind is able to focus or have the concentration and you are more delighted in concentrating. You become very, you know, um, than a fond of uh, uh, doing a calm abiding meditation. I need to take a touch, another chamber that she had touched, she just had the top chamber chart, she should have topped that chocolate. And then at that time, then, 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 you know, you get the power that comes you know, through the power of introspection. Well, as a partner, you are partner, that the neutrality and the charge the lumber chicken gold, but something do really charge the lumber chicken gold charge. Chawa, chawa dia lambat juga ni leh dia parti. In the in that picture now you know on the 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 fifth stage, monk now ahead of the elephant. So it's like he's able to control the mind, and he has placed. I hope. Ini bapa yo, bapa bapa dah lambat juga kul malah dah. Tak kahwin ni leh, tak kul kul show dia dia. Tak kau di bawah mereka cakap, tak bapa yang mana? Then uh, the excitement is now behind the elephant. Uh, the monkey is behind the elephant. So then it's like you know the the before you know there's excitement ahead of the mind, 
and the minus fallen x y. Now, you know, if you might left the excitement behind, so the excitement is not able to affect the mind so much more. And it's not a huge amount of the world. Then the, the, you know, the mental thinking was uh, the relaxity also becomes weaker. So if you meditate, you know, your mind becomes uh, more powerful. Then, uh, so now your, your, your concentration or the calm abiding is becoming stronger and stronger, and you, you don't have any more. Uh, uh, lexity, uh, not even the subtle lexity. So by then, you know, the intro, with, with your introspection, you are able to um, <clears throat> see the force you know, of the distraction or the lexity. Uh, excitement and so forth, and they will not ever not you know, uh, uh, let the mind until after the distractions. What is that? No, but that is why you come. You say you should escape the door. When that bomb is made, because so the top bar angle, you know, you go and see. You escape the door, sir. That's that's about you know uh, how we do. There's not much to really to talk about it. You know, it's mostly it's just uh, the practice. Okay. I'll ask you the homework. What's the homework? What was what is the cause or what is the antidote for laxity and excitement? Okay. So she was the Gepani thing and the Gumbala Paji so easy already. So the excitement and laxity are the, the main uh, obstacles to concentration or combine, right? Okay. They cause on the Lamlum Chamino Sonnet. That is uh, explained in the, the great stages of part in Latin. Okay. That thing in the Tak Kapti Jang, you go to Tak Kapti Jang. She got the Gabani. So, what is the uh, antidote you know, for the excitement and laxity? A thing in the Shadam Mambo, you know, you Mambo, you know, you know, you know, you know, there are many different kinds of mind, right? And that can be antidote you know, to uh, the legacy and uh, excitement. What is the main mind? What is the main antidote mind? Okay. The legacy and. You know what the whole mark was? Never mind. <laughs> Smart, excuse. Uh, just one main. I have two. Because okay. Mindfulness to keep the mind on the object, and then introspection, you know, when the mind goes into excitement or laxity. Okay. Um, yeah. For the excitement, I have um, mindfulness also, and I have you want to really rise yourself, excite, right? absorb it, come forward, familiar when your mind is excited. Most of the answer. Most of the Okay. Thank you. Um, I looked it up online, but um, <laughs> um, they said that um, what the internet said that um, like you you're supposed to practice in like awareness, like you're supposed to be aware, like whether or not it's excitement or laxity, and once you're aware. Or and they talk like this is this was helpful for me to understand when you're like it's like it talks about like being balanced in your energy kind of when you have excitement your energy is very high so then like an antidote would be like meditate on impermanence um, that to bring your energy down and when you're in laxity your energy is low so you would like meditate on like, like bodhicitta or something like that would bring you motivation. Okay. Okay, you guys. Yeah, what do you have? Uh, yes, I use uh, Charlie Rivershay's book on, on um, mastery meditation. He said the okay. first thing to do is to have vigilance. So that's not an antidote, but that helps you recognize what the problem is. And if um, 
there's excitement, the mind is too tight, you need to loosen that. If there's laxity, you need to tighten it. And he said, there's not, you really need to learn from your experience because it can be very subtle and you have to um, you know, recognize when they arise and then adjust them and see if it works or doesn't work and apply the correct method. You know, over time, you learn how to do that. It's not an easy thing to do with one, one solution. Okay. Okay. Yes. Uh, I thought um, mindfulness and vigilance. Um, I saw that in the Tweetsy, uh, the Tweetsy of the stages of the path um, in the Tweetsy. I forget the name. What's Tweetsy? Tweetsy. Treaties on the stages of the path. Great treaties. Ah, yeah. Okay. Okay, Margot. I she stole my answers. I was going to say the same thing: vigilance, <laughs> concentration, and mindfulness. Ed and Buet, Erica. Um, according to Lamorin Temmel, uh, the antidote for uh, excitement and laxity is uh, vigilance, uh, introspective awareness. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay. Andrew, you have something to say? Yeah, Rika kind of stole mine, so vigilant awareness. Okay. Lisa, you want to say something? I'll say something, but it's probably going to be wrong because of having studied this so much with other teachers. But if you're in the seven point posture and you have your eyes partially open, I've learned that if you if you're feeling laxity and you're or you're feeling drowsy, if you open your eyes a little more and refocus on an object that's close to you, that will help you. If you're having the mind that's jumping, you open your eyes wide and look at something in the distance. So I would just say reset your mind or start over. You know, start, go back to the beginning. That's good. That's good. Thank okay. You. Hey, Karen. Hi, Gishla. Um, well, you gave us one answer, which was to um, bring an image of light. So expand the mind for laxity. Um, and then for excitement, um, it's got the other problem of being too outward and needing to bring it in. So that would be to, um, you could do a direct antidote to, let's say, <clears throat> to disenchant your mind from the object you're, you're being distracted by, which would bring it back. To okay. Hey, hey, Bing. You want to say something there? You sleeping there? Okay, Jennifer. Yeah. Um, my source is the Lama Chimo as well, and uh, it says that introspection is the um, the the antidote. Introspection is the antidote. Shishin. Shishin. Okay. Okay. Two minutes. I tell you, Tim, Shishin, you buy enough. And the same with Tambu Kalaya. Go by Omar, go by the captain of Omar, she's in the leg marrow. Yeah. Then what, is, what would be the antidote you know, for, uh, for, for that, a second? Uh, for the distraction you know, that you get you know, during the first or second stage of the mind? Well, it seems that on the, the remedies that the, of the eight remedies, the first four are to remedy laziness. And then the next four are respectively. Um, you know, mindfulness remedies for the forgetfulness, you know, forgetting the object. Mm -hmm. And then introspection remedies the um, laxity and excitement. Mm -hmm. 
and then the application. Uh, yeah, but yeah, yeah. Well, non application. <laughs> yeah, and, 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 yeah, non application. <coughs> yeah. Over up. Really, 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 ま、だ、だで、じゃ、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ち
Amanda Shamba Gumne Shambe Toba Majibala and Nija called some tango mothers. And the Yaman Nija Nija Toba Majiba Shamba Tom Tom is you could pamacha or mare. Morris not that. The odd, the odd to do with somebody in my summer in order to one of my do some of the Russian goods. They are not your mother, Tajuma Coca, Coca, the new one with a blood and your charters. I want to charge in a Coca, Coca, Kalija or Makalamajan Russian commodity. It doesn't have to come that way, you know. You don't because for us, you, you know, when we are not used to thinking in that way, and it feels like okay. So if you want to be free from, I mean, if you want to have happiness, then it has to be free from suffering. How can you be happy if you are not free from suffering, right? Uh-huh. So we think like that, but that's two different minds, two different kind of minds. So when you're thinking about may they be happy, you just have to think that may they be happy only. You know, don't you don't you don't think you don't have to. I think about you know you, if your mind is going towards that, then you are, that means you are distracted. Right? You are you are thinking about different things. So if you're thinking you know like just may they be happy, just think may they be happy, and uh, then may they be free from suffering. It's a you know it's a it's a it's a different type of mind, and uh, that there's a different wish you know so that's a different mind, and so that it doesn't have to it, it's not automatic. We feel like if if you if you are happy, then you have to be free from suffering. How can you be? You know, I mean, like, you know, how can you be happy and not free from something like that? Yeah. Those two thoughts, you know, doesn't have to be together, but we feel like it's like that. But when you are meditating for a meditator, so first you, uh, uh, you know, just a master in that mind, you know, thinking, may they be happy. And once you have master in that thought, then you move to the next mind, you may they be free from something. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know, this example follow, follows or not, but like, you know, so if you eat food, you know, then you, you, get, you fill your stomach, right? But, you know, when you're eating food, doesn't have to think that you're feeling stomach. Okay. You know, so each of them, like those, you know, the seven fold cause and effect, cause and effect instruction. The starting with them and uh, recognizing what's the best one's mother, remembering their kindness, and all these things. So, in this, it has to follow separately. Okay. Yes. Uh, uh, the question you, you mentioned the six powers, and among the six powers were the mindfulness, introspection, and also effort, which also in the eight antidotes, there's effort, mindfulness, and introspection. But, um, effort and actually live it. Don't you do it. Don't that. The same the makeup level. Yeah, so the power of uh, the effort and comes later yeah. during the seventh stage of the mind. Whereas the part where the antidote of the effort comes pretty early in as far as you know, an antidote to the, the five faults. So are they related or are they totally <laughs> Oh, yeah, no, that's different. That's different kind of effort. So the yeah. effort uh, of the, the eight antidote effort and the effort within the eight antidotes and the effort you know, within the six power is different. My promise and introspection different too between the um, antidotes and the six powers? Then the thing on the net that was a tempered of your tempered of the tempered of the top room and get tempered by Alta, Nimbog and get tempered your there must be there, there, there might be some uh difference in, in terms of the strength. Yeah, okay, yes. So many people, I think, answered vigilance, and is that maybe a different translation of introspection? Does vigilance. You know, means watching. Yeah. Well, it's watching the mind very closely to see yeah. is it getting excited or lax. Yeah, what, do, what do they use that for? That's how it's translated here. It's the same as it. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Introspection. Yeah. Okay. But, well, usually vigilance means you know just paying really close attention. Close attention. Take, that's in case there's any change, looking for any change. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah so yeah, like vigilance means like like being very alert like that. Alert, yeah, alert. Watching, so or watching or if, if something coming or not like that, right? I mean, you can you can also add to that. Maybe introspection of it. 
all clear. Sometimes they say, I think, vigilant introspection. Vigilant introspection? Yeah, because intr introspection means looking at the mind. Yeah, yeah. Vigilant means you're really Something looking that. closely for a problem. Yeah, yeah. So, so you see it when it happens. Oh, introspection is like in a spine, you know, like, oh, so if, right. if that's coming or not, if the excitement is coming or not, if the, the, the mental thinking or the electricity is coming or not, like that. You know? That mind, which was, like, okay, so catches it and it comes. That's introspection. Did you do something like that? Something like that? I think they, they might be using it in a similar yeah. way. Yeah. It's different translations. Okay, now very serious question, okay. That Chamba the Shiji and the Shiva the Gopagi, the Nimbodo was. That the Chamba the Shiga and the Shigo Shiva the Gopa Yongu, the May, Chamba the Shiji, Gum Javita Pagoda. So, so my question, okay. mindfulness and introspection are the antidote for uh, the mental and uh, for the excitement and the anxiety, right? So that so the introspection is the mind that's that's looking whether you know, the excitement is coming or not, right? So when does it have to look? Does it during the meditation or before the meditation or after the meditation? Okay, this one more, okay. You got it? You got it? Everyone understand the question? I'm in meditation. I say, oh, did I my mind, mind go to lexicon or excitement? Lexington. Someone looking like lexicon. <laughs> Lexity or lexity? Lexity. Lexity. It define mind looking behind that during your meditation or before your meditation or after the meditation or when? Mark, you, are you right on? You got what I say? <laughs> Answer the question. <laughs> I think I already You read answer? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's let you know next week, then. Right? Everyone got the answer correct, right? When? If they, you can say, Kana Kogum, David, Jadwa Katagana, and then Muba Chilamini and Shiva Madani and Chiviore. If it is happening, just it's happening at the time when you're doing the meditation? And then what, what does that mean? So that, that does that mean that you know there's two mind manifesting at the same time? Oh. The mind that is concentrating, right? On the object, and the mind that is checking whether the destruction is coming or not. Two kind of mind manifesting at the same time. She go the travel, say nyembo bridge but not she go the maybe colour ni she wa the gumba maybe colour, she wa the gumba do but the tangibar one, the nyba say was. So, like you know, if if there's no mind, if there's no excitement and electricity, then you don't have to check if there's electricity or not, right? That's yeah. what over application. Yeah. That application, that application is is you know is a, is a fault. Yeah. When 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 you you know when your mind is you know really calm and not excitement, then you know, thing is, you know, so you're applying the antidote for that. Know, will be, uh, you know, uh, would be a fault. That application would be fault. Because when you are concentrating, when your mind is concentrating on an object, if this other mind comes and checks whether you know, it's, whether the distraction is coming or not, and that itself is kind of distraction, right? Yeah, this is a That's okay. the focus from your mind. Try to find, okay. Okay, next another question. The Temba the Kanjani Yajitang was done. Temba the Shiji the Kanjani Yajitang. Yajitang the Tavino Kandes. You got the first question. Okay, second question. How do you improve? How do you improve mindfulness and introspection? Like we say, how do you accumulate more merit? Oh, if you have more merit, then you do prostrations, you do you make offerings, you do documentations. Increase your merit. How will you improve your wisdom? You have to study. You study and you, you know, concentrate and, and you contemplate on those. And that way, wisdom. Okay, so that's the first question. 
So like that, you know. So if the mindfulness and introspection are the main antidote, you know, for mental, I mean, for the excitement and laxity, how do you improve or enhance uh, the mindfulness and, in, and introspection? How do you enhance and this mindfulness is the, and introspection? This is very okay. That's a very tough question. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> got a good answer. Maybe Google, maybe Google has an answer. <laughs> maybe Lamlu <laughs> Chambo can answer. Okay. Okay, like that. Then we'll stop. Thank you, guys. Uh, wonderful. We talk to you as much as we can. And kind of that seminar, maybe share the camera. There's not much to really talk on each uh, mental stage, mental you know, uh, stages. That's mostly you know, uh, uh, through the experience you know, on meditation. If you guys have Lamrum Chemu, maybe now also the electronic, if you don't buy do the electronic. Yeah, I mean, you can have everyone have maybe phone or computer, just download. You can read that, maybe you, you can buy it. You can download it. You have to buy it. Right. You know, is maybe you get got more information that is a lot of them very detailed or the very what is it? Yeah, very very detailed. Yes, Lisa, you said something. Yes, I was just actually going to ask about the text referenced in the chat. Is it available anywhere online? Because I have studied shamatha and calm abiding, but with it having been with a different lineage, it's varying. And I want to make sure that I'm studying correctly the right text with you. No, you can bring different lineage at the farm. It's make make sure we are our karuna to solve some of them. That the tata guna rendu to solve some of the So it doesn't matter, you know, which text you follow, but as long as you have found the right information. That's fine. Okay, so no, somebody think, said it's on Amazon. Mike put in the chat it's on Amazon. What is it called specifically? Because I do, the ones have, well, Yeshala, you know, I'm a sonam. I practice this with him, this Shamatha every morning. And then um, with Kempo Sam, the Rinpoche, we did the stages of meditation called uh, his book called Awakening the Mind. And it's all very similar, but I don't want to do the, you know, I don't want to do something inappropriate. In the, in the description for this class, there's two um, text oh, yeah. in the description for the class. The, the Lamar Chimam. They have like $20. Well as, um, liberation in the palm of your hand. Bob there's Gunther a link to those him. books on, on, the, on the calendar. The devil put links in the calendar. On the calendar? Yeah. Description of the class, yeah. Is it on? The, oh, there it is. Thank you, Bob. Bob going to shopping in the office. <laughs> 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 okay, thank you. Yeah. Thank you very okay. much. That's good, Lisa. That's good. Yeah, wonderful. You know, we try to all as much as we can to, you know, meditation, to try to realization something, okay? Okay. I will stop. Thank you. Turn to page 39 for thanks. Thank to you. Yes. My two collections, vast is space that I have vast for working with that work. To practice mm. with a great length of time. May I become the chief leading Buddha for all those whose wisdom, wisdom eye is blinded by ignorance. Even if I do not reach this state, may I be held with the love and compassion for all my lives with Rishi. May I find all the best of complete rated paths of the teachings, and may I please all the things by practicing. Using skillful means drawn by the strong force of compassion, may I clear the darkness from the minds of all beings with the points of the path as I have discerned them. May I uphold the Buddha's teachings for a very long time. 
my heart going out with great compassion of whatever direction the most precious teachings have not been spread, not spread in the blind, and I reveal this treasure of happiness and aid. May the minds of those who wish for liberation be granted God his peace, and the Buddha's deeds be nourished for a long time. By even this great force to enlightenment completed due to the wondrous virtue and conduct of the Buddhas of their children. May all human and non-human beings who eliminate adversity and make things conducive for practicing the excellent paths never be parted in any of their lives from the purest path raised by the Buddhas. Whenever someone makes an effort to act in accordance with the typical Vajana Buddhist practices, may they be assisted by the mighty monks and doses of prosperity spread everywhere. In that snow mountain encircled land, the soul of soft and grief and a bit and joy. May Lord Penzing Gyatso chant resig, he may name my hills of Savior, the snow that teachings and transmigratory beings who extensively clarifies the path and unifies emptiness, passion, focus in the hand, for things and Yatsu of the siege, may all of your only wishes be fulfilled. Page 49, the short long life prayer for Lama's over at the table. <laughs> You always be with perfect teachers. Your form of body so what is your nature is that of all Shadara. You are the root of the three jewels, homage to you, Mukhunas. In short, I seek your blessings, O protector, to be cared for by you from birth, unremittingly throughout all my lives, and thus to become your chief disciple, like every secret of your body, speech, and mind. O protector, please grant that all be auspicious for me to be foremost among your very first circle of disciples, wherever you manifest you would. So that all my simple and ultimate wishes without exception may be effortlessly and spontaneously fulfilled. In all my lives, never separated from perfect. <clears throat> I am with this karma by completing the qualities of the stages and paths, may I quickly attain the state of Vajra Dharma. Furthermore, in that please return, be for up. Foster by an accomplished man, a spiritual master, the source of every virtue of this world and beyond. In his care, may I admire and him a firm, unshakable faith, pleasing him by every means possible, doing nothing even for an instant to disappoint. May my spiritual master impart to me every instruction and every teaching in its entirety. Having understood them flawlessly, may I practice them and be able to bring them to perfection. May I never even for a moment fall under the sway of a couple of teachers of this living practice. Having developed in every life the deep and calm and effect of renunciation of the mind and the pure view, may I embark upon them continually with effortless experience. In every life, to a side gathered by way of body, speech, and mind, cause solely for the welfare of others and for the humanist and highest enlightenment. Seven, the prayer of dedication. Through this virtue may I swiftly, having gained through the state, place each and every sentient being without exception. In that state, precious supreme body mind, may it wear on born of Christ, and it wear born every mind, but in peace forever. 75, make the same up. Ignace, Dreaming in 
Check the calendar. There's lots of stuff coming up. Um, uh, the regular uh, teachings from Geshalan uh, Sundays and Wednesdays, but also we have um, uh, Guru Puja next Tuesday at seven o'clock, and then also um, we have uh, a special guest teacher coming on the twenty-first. And there's information on the calendar. Thank you. Have a good night. Thank you, Geshalan. Geshalan. Thank, Thank you, Jessica. So. Have a great night, Bob. Good night. Good night. Thank you. 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 Thank you.